What is up? The turbo has came. Brandon is here. He blessed us with tires. Brandon, make that. There, there, there. But uh, my camera angle is a little retarded. But this is the turbo piping, the outlet piping. This goes from the turbo to the intercooler. Let me pop this open real quick. Ooh, okay. And there's a new oil line and gasketry, uh, bolts, oil fittings, all the things. That's a nice little kit. Christmas box. Here. Yeah, that, that is. That. I'd actually like to try and get this turbo in tonight. Uh, the next three or four weeks, I'm booked like for the entire weekend. Today's Friday, but I want to get a baseline dyno run done with the current setup so I can see and show you guys the improvements over the turbo. So the local guy said he probably can't get me in for like a week. So I'm going to hit up some shops in Lubbock. Maybe I'll go to Lubbock today real quick. I can pick up a bunch of ethanol on there as well. So, we'll see. All right. Now this is the uh, turbo muffler delete and piping to the intercooler. We got the new turbo muffler delete gasket and bolts. The delete itself, the hosing for it, the like gets from, from smaller to bigger. And then the uh, actual piping itself, it's very nice. It says nothing on that. But these have the QT on them. And this, this one will go to the intercooler itself, I believe. Maybe it's this one. They both taper. Mm. We'll figure it out. But this should be like way bigger diameter than the uh, CTS junk that I have and way bigger than stock. So if there's any restriction between the turbo and the intercooler, it'll be gone now. So, uh, and with that, I'll be selling my racing line turbo muffler delete. Uh, I'm just going to leave it on the turbo along with the CTS piping and the turbo smart blow off valve and the turbo, all that's being sold together. So if you want that, let me know. Of course, we have any clamps. Enough for the turbo itself. Dude's got this long ass knife. This thing's beautiful. <laughs> God damn. And that wheel is definitely way bigger than uh, what I currently have. Oh, Jesus man. Christ. I didn't realize it was so heavy. Hmm. It's very nice. Focus, boom. Okay, you see the EQT on the fin there? Nice. Oh, that's a nice ass touch. Appearances are nice. It's sit real pretty in there. No restriction coming out. Nice. Of course, I got it with the wastegate already installed and calibrated. So that was definitely a nice touch. That'll save me a lot of time when this turbo goes in. All right. Well, here's the first look for you guys. It's just a beautiful turbo. It's gorgeous. Wastegate on, calibrated. Very nice. Let's see here, nice, nice wheel going. Action. That's where your turbo muffler goes, where your diverter valve or blow off valve goes. Um, your turbo 90 will connect here. Nice. Flip it here real quick. Look at that. 
beautiful just beautiful that's so much bigger <laughs> this is gonna be so nice I'm excited Just a good looking turbo. This is great. I'm so freaking excited. Now I'm trying to get on the dyno today so I can install this tonight. I don't know if it's going to be possible. There's only one dyno here in town. It's a diesel shop. He said he's booked till like next week. So I'm hitting up friends in different towns. I'll probably have to drive like an hour and a half to get on the dyno if I can today. It's already 2.30 and then in Texas it's already 3.30. Um, I just made a paste, a, a paste, a post to a local group up there. See if someone can get me on the dyno today. Get like two runs, just to get like a baseline, and I'll come home and install this turbo. And if I don't do it tonight, then I am going to have to wait a few weeks. Like I said, my next couple of weeks are like booked, booked. Um, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, a lot of stuff going on. And then, um, if I get this in tonight, then I have time to tune tomorrow before autocross Sunday, which would be ideal. I mean, I won't be at its full potential I'm sure but um, at least it'll be in we can get fine tuning done during the week and uh, like I said next weekend is some, some street racing stuff and if I had this turbo on before All Out Call Out in Albuquerque I would like to race in that event if there's still spots available to race it'd be very nice uh, to go up there and see what she does even though the altitude up there is like really even worse than here but at least they have E85 up there so that would be cool but um I'm going to get back on my phone here and try and find a dyno today. Well, got all the things laid out here, ready to go. Only thing I'm missing is spark plugs, so I'm going to hop on the computer, order those real quick. I wasn't able to find any place to get me on dyno today, but now I have an appointment tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. in Amarillo. So I'll leave here. I'll have to leave here at like 7 in the morning. And I'll run up there, hop on a dyno, and then I'll go, uh, I guess, just hang out with Michael and or Brandon. See what they're up to. Um, I might as well just spend the day in Amarillo while I'm there. Um, so yeah, so be looking out for that. That'll be tomorrow's vid. I'm just gonna catch up on my YouTube videos. I'll be, I spent the last like day or so in Arizona. Took a couple days off, had a little vacation. Got to see Hate Breed live. Uh, shout out to any of you guys that listen to Hate Breed. They're kind of old. I remember listening to them when I was in like middle school. They were just randomly playing in downtown Phoenix, so we decided to go. It was pretty cool. I haven't been to a metal show in a minute. Um, I think the last metal show or rock show I've been to was, I don't know if it was Vans, was it Warp Tour? I don't know, it's been, it's been quite a while though, but it was a good ass time. Anyway, so tomorrow morning we'll be heading to Amarillo. Let me know what your guesses are for the dyno runs. I'm excited, uh, the full mod list is down in the comments right now, so read over that. Let me know what you think I'm going to make for power. I think I'll make like 375 wheel and like 390 torque that's my guess what do you think how much how much do you think i'm gonna make on a dyno nine thousand nine thousand okay well nine thousand it is <laughs> all right guys here we are next day i uh, just made it up to this shop called proven automotive here in amarillo um yeah i'm excited as hell i'm just sitting here letting the car cool off for a little bit uh they don't actually open till 10 so i'll wait it's like 12 minutes till they open, so I'm gonna wait like five minutes or so and uh, go knock on the door, see what's up. Uh, hopefully get some good footage for you guys. I'm gonna do the camera on my phone and this camera, get a couple different angles. Um, I was thinking about doing like a Facebook, or not Facebook, YouTube live thing to see what people would think, maybe. I don't know, if you're watching this and I did it, then hell yeah. But, but I wanna record from two different angles, so I can't go live. I don't know, we'll see. There's a big ass dog just jumped the fence. But I, I'll record what I can. Hopefully they'll let, even let me record and, and be near the car while it's on the dyno and stuff. But uh, I need to look up, see what fuse I need to pull to turn off uh, the Haldex. And we'll go from there. Dirty, dirty.
Wow, okay. First two runs, we're looking at 373 and 418, pretty much exactly back to back on uh, those two runs. I'll show you guys the dyno chart here um, after we do this third one. We're gonna do one more run, he's gonna load up the dyno, maybe get the turbo to spool a little bit sooner. He's like flooring it at like 3,000, so it's taking like a second to catch up on the boost. But he's gonna load up the dyno a little bit and uh, go from there. But with the altitude denser, density altitude right now, I think it's like 58. 100 humidity's pretty high as you can see the sky behind me it's pretty pretty shitty it's like i think he said 64 percent humidity right now but uh it's way more torque than i thought i thought it was gonna be like 380 torque 390 torque and uh to see 418 really makes me happy and then for horsepower i was thinking like 365 maybe 385 somewhere in there and then 373 dead center basically um with ethanol in the tank this would be a lot higher of a number I could run full 85 right now and probably make another 50, 60 horsepower easily, I think. But uh, we're still on 91. This is just base, and this goes pretty pretty well with most people's dynos. So uh, we'll get the base, and then hopefully uh, over the next couple weeks, we'll get this turbo in. Uh, not hopefully, we will. It will happen. I ordered my spark plugs last night. Literally, the only thing that was left other than the turbo. So uh, yeah, I'm excited. I'm lit. I'm lit, lit, lit. I'm ready to eat. I'm starving. I'm gonna go hang out with Michael after this and play around with the Evos a little bit. Maybe get a video of him driving the car, banging some gears, and vice versa. Should be a pretty well-rounded video for your, your Thursday, I guess. Monday will be autocross that I'm going to tomorrow. So you guys are seeing this in the way future. But, um, yeah. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Well, you guys seen the numbers, you guys seen the dyno runs. I am extremely happy with what I got. Um, I was thinking anywhere between 360, 380 horsepower and I don't know, like 390, maybe 400 torque and to see what it did, I'm happy, very happy. Um, now we got a baseline to go off of. I mean, there's so many different things that go into dyno numbers. It's kind of, you could argue with it for days and, and this and that, I don't really care, honestly. I mean, it's cool that I got a number that I want to see awesome but it's really just a tool so i'll go back there once the eqt is on uh maybe already have an ethanol file or at least play around with it a little bit uh beforehand we'll go there we'll do regular 91 and e85 pools probably be about a month but uh yeah but now i'm gonna get breakfast and we're gonna go do evo things and drive cars so we'll see what we record here for the rest of the day here I am heading home from Amarillo and this storm is getting gross. Hopefully I can get by it quick enough here. It looks like I will, but it's pretty crazy clouds and stuff right now. And these clouds are moving fast, like ridiculously fast. Wild. Well, didn't get to do too, too much hanging out there on uh, on Saturday due to the storms. It's, it's just been like a storm craze lately. There's been all types of tornadoes all around here and, and Texas and uh, Oklahoma. It's just been bad. Like, I'm pretty sure we're going to have like a bunch of tornado warnings and more uh, later on this week, which kind of sucks. I want to wash my car. There's no point. It's going to start raining like every day. Hail, warnings, and this and that. Like... 60 mile an hour winds all the time. This time of year is kind of crazy. But, uh, holy crap. 427 foot pounds of torque on that last run. How about that? That really makes me excited. Like, really, really excited. Because I kind of want to, like, cap my torque around, like, 444, 50 anyway. So I'm, like, almost there for the, the torque number. But then you throw on, you know, another 75 to 100 horsepower on top of where it sits right now with ethanol. Potentially, like with a with a new turbo, of course. Um, 
It's gonna be crazy. The car is gonna get down. I, I'm gonna sit at this power level for a very long time. So once this EQT is on and the, and the piping, the new turbo muffler delete and all that, I uh, get the tune sorted out on 91, a tune sorted out on E50, and it's probably gonna sit there for a very long time um, until the head gets built. Once the head gets built, ported, polished, all that, um, it's really, our, our heads are pretty restrictive, so. Um, I think after the head's built, I'll be able to make a lot more power if I wanted to, but it's not good on the bottom end. So pretty much after this point, the, the car needs to be built. I would still like to do a belt motor, um, run less boost. So say if I'm running 28 pounds to make 470, um, I could, with the built head, port and polish, I'd be able to run maybe like 23 or 24 pounds and make the same amount of power. Uh, it's Less work on the turbo, less work on the motor. Um, I'll be able to rev higher. Being able to rev higher would be great. Being able to like rev out to say even like 8,000, 8,500 uh, would really benefit me in auto cost. Cause right now I have it pretty much set at like 7,000 for a, a red line. And uh, it kind of messes me up a lot. I got to shift early cause the gearing is already kind of short and then doing stuff like autocross where it's like first and second gear for the most part, um, having all those extra RPMs would really, really, really benefit me. So we'll see how that goes. I mean, that's that's way down the road. We're talking for that, not like way down the road, but not in the near future. Like I said, after this will be, we're hopping right into a big brake kit after this and then uh, back in the suspension, control arms, subframe, uh, full on dog bone mount, uh, trailing arm bushings and brace, um, probably a lightweight battery, some other random things. I like to get racing seats. The car needs to get corner balanced. There's a lot of things to come still. I need um, RS3 brake ducts. Uh, what else? There's all types of things. My list just keeps going and going. And there, of course, there's all these aesthetic things that I want still. I want different. I want folding mirrors just because I like folding mirrors. I want LED license plate. I want LED everything pretty much on the inside. Uh, and there's all these like little things that don't benefit me uh, in the sense of racing that I still want as well. Um, every once in a while I'll sprinkle a little bit of aesthetics in there, but for the most part I don't even waste my money, but I definitely want those LED for the license plate lights. I don't know, something about them just really makes me smile to see nice bright LED license plate lights. I don't know, it's like a luxury, luxurious type of thing, you see them on the Cadillacs and it's not, I really like the way they look. Um, anyway, this weekend we got racing going down. Next weekend we got all out call out and all this stuff in Albuquerque. And the weekend after that, I'm pretty sure it's totally free. And if not, I'm gonna make it free. And that's when the turbo's coming in. Uh, spark plugs will be here Saturday. I'll probably throw those in anyway, just because. But um, yeah, stay tuned. Next couple weeks should have a lot of racing, um, a lot of clips of that shit. And then we'll get right into this turbo, get the turbo one. I have a nice big DIY for that, DIY video for that. And then uh, back to tuning, back to the dyno, play around with some ethanol. Um, it's going to be a good time. There's a lot of a lot of good things coming. Uh, tons of racing to do this season. So I got a brand new set of tires sitting in the garage as well. Um, just a lot of shit. A lot of shit. And uh, I'm excited. <laughs> um, all right. Well, that's enough of me, Ran. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys a lot. Let me know what you think of the dyno numbers. And like I said earlier in the video, I'm not real big on numbers. I'm not going to go run around, oh, I made 430 foot pounds of torque. No, I'll be like, all right, yeah, I made, I made like 380, 420-ish. Um, we'll see. We'll just see how it compares to the EQT and, and go from there. But uh, as she sits, extremely happy. Shout out to Frank Mabo. For his uh, amazing tuning, as you can see, she was pretty on point. Um, of course, all the other companies that I rep and rock, that's all I got. So, tune in for the next one, and I'll catch you on the flip-flop.